Hello everyone, welcome to this new video about MNflow. In today's video we are going to look into inference. Um, so basically what we are going to be doing is getting predictions from the models that we trained in previous videos. So in order to load a model, we can use the method called load model from Scikit-Learn flavor and pass the model URI. So this is basically the location in URI format of the MNflow model. There are different ways that we have to specify this uh, model URI, the location in this format of the MLflow model. So we can, for example, specify the path to the local model or use the, the syntax, specify runs, the MLflow run ID, um, the path to the artifact. We also have these ones, but these options are available only when we move the model to the model registry. For now, we are not going to use this method. So let's go to the experiment uh, again. So this is the model that we want to use. Um, the first method that we are going to use is by using the syntax, basically, in which we have um, runs, a slash, the run ID, and the path to the artifact. So notice that random forest classifier is the is this folder in which MLflow is storing all the metadata about the model. So let's go to the code. And here we can see that it's the same uh, a syntax, uh, run ID. We have here the run ID in this variable. So we can run this code and get some predictions. OK, because you know after uh, loading the model, uh, I am creating this RFC object and using the model to get predictions using dot .predict python uh, 14 inference so here we can see that we are getting some predictions now the second method as uh, the documentation specifies is to pass the path to the local model let's look at that uh, if we go to the experiment here we can see the path to the file to the model so we can get this path copy. Uh, I can just you know maybe use this button. Let's copy this here. And this uh, is the run ID. So what we can do is to specify run ID here, and let's comment out this this line of code. Um, by using this format, uh, I, I am also able to retrieve my model and get predictions. Let's run this code. And yes, we are getting the same results. Well, that was everything for this video. Thanks for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.